Right, so we're going to place a spawner in the scene and place a coin in the scene. This time around we're just going to work on the wave just so you can see how a wave would work with it. Um, the wave just meaning that you'll have a set of spawns happen and then it's going to stop and then it's going to have another wave of spawning to occur. Um, let's go ahead and place the brush on there for the item to spawn. And with this one what we'll do is just run through the things. We'll have it set for start. We're going to have both of those on. That shouldn't matter too much, but just to double check, we'll have the position set and once. And then replace item on pickup. Actually, you know, we may not even have to do a replace on that one. We'll, we'll leave that off for a moment. And then for the spawn counter, well, let's, let's actually leave this at one. So it's only going to spawn once. And then on the wave, so wave option has, you can do unlimited waves. It'll just constantly do a set of spawning and then based on a delay amount and then start spawning again. The basic setup for the waves right now, we'll continue just to add more depth and everything to it, more options. The uh, number of waves though, Let's say there'll be three waves, um, and we'll just do a two second delay in between each one. All right, so if we have that, then let's go to play. So the object will start spawn, and we can grab it, and then two seconds, and then the spawn is done, but the wave starts up, and the wave knows that it's supposed to spawn another coin for the, for the second wave, and then the same thing for the next wave. So you may have multiple uh, coins, you may have 10 coins where you pick up 10 and then it's going to be a 10 second wait and then the coins start picking back up again. So you can do it that way. So the wave is just going to control that type of system through it.